Game Pop Legit. Hey guys, this is Johnny here with Ultimate Recon Gaming with Risen Episode 22. Um, we're gonna have a serious talk here. Um, I've been doing this with like every single series except for Fallout because Fallout's the number one series, so I'm not really going to worry about that one. But um, excuse me. Um. Episode 24 is going to be a special episode to where we're going to have a serious, serious talk. And I want to kind of say something now. Um, it's going to be kind of like the Star Wars Uprising thing that's happening as well. Um, basically, um, at a certain amount of time, uh, on episode 24, eight days later, at a certain, it has to have a certain amount of likes for it to come out another four days later. Or else... We're going to be moving on to Master Chalice. Anyways, let's get back to the main game here. So I can remember what I was doing. Um, let's check then. How about that? Uh -huh. um, let's look. We were at... Um, what do we need? Skins for meat. We need... Oh, don't disconnect the freaking thing. Be nice. Um... Okay. Um... Bunch of words. Well, I think that's your place to start look looking for Sid Scout. We're looking for. Scroll all the way back down, real quick, man. Not yet. Um, just go to the stairs from the harbor. Um. And treasure, treasure hunter. Um. Okay, so we still need to do that. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to do. Oh yeah, we have a uh, buyer for this one. Remember that, dude. Man. But he needs me to buy the artifact for 300. Um, do I have 300 yet? No. Matter of fact, let's... list nope that's for other thing um there it is uh is colfin josh martha um is colfin josh martha and how many do i have don't even remember how many I already gave it to. That's the problem. Um, if I've been completed or not. It's been a while since I've pre-recorded, last recorded this. And so, just bear with me here. Um, um, sick healing potions. I have seven potions prepared. I give you a list. Sir, the raining potions payment for your work. I'm pretty sure I started with one. He gave me seven, which made it eight. Which I think I gave him all by now, dude. So, yeah. So, right now, at this point, we're kind of just strolling around. Have we talked to Lily? Yeah, dude. Well, you look like you've got deep pockets. And there's no better place to dig into them than Madame Sonia's house of Ooh. Pleasure. We've got something to suit all tastes. And the girls there are talented, flexible, and lice free. Good to know. Let's not. How about that, dude? Okay. Hey thou Jack! Well, my lad. 
What can old Jack do for you? You're Jack. You're Jack. That I am. Jack the sailor, then Jack the lighthouse keeper. Now Jack the old beach coat. <laughs> Seems the sea won't let me go. So no longer. No longer the lighthouse keeper. Was, my boy, was. The tower's not in use. Nor am I. No more ships going out, you see. The storms put pay to the ships, and the town's short of fuel. No use burning things when there are no ships to see it, eh? You wouldn't have a tot of rum to ease my aches, would you? Okay, well, let's trade. Let's trade. You need some rum, though. Um. Okay, dude. Everyone needs something, dude. Goodness gracious. <sighs> oh yeah. Um the heck, okay. Um I'm gonna play distant objects. Lock picks. Wow, those are expensive, dude. Okay. Okay. Well, I already have lockpicks, so yeah, dude. And is there uh, something unnecessary that I have? Maybe. I could sell at a good price. Nope. Okay, dude. Later. Um, the heck is down there? Awesome, like weird flower-looking thing, dude. Man. And okay, let's save. We'll just keep it under the game pop thing. Come on. There we go, dude. Man. He's not even going on bother with me. Why is the camera all freaking out now, man? I'll have to pick this. Or find the key. Or find the keys. Hmm, dude. Okay. There's the whetstone. Hey, Edgar. So, there are still new folks turning up here, eh? Well, watch yourself around the Inquisition. What do you mean? I mean, careful where you stand. I am part of the Inquisition, you rising shit before dip. you know it. They're crazy types, you know. Worshipping a flame. What should I know about Arbor Town? about Harbor Town? No, eh? Just watch your step. You never know who's throwing their weight about from one day to the next. And mind that harbor warehouse. Go near it, and people think you're stealing from there. Let's just say it makes the Inquisition twitchy. What do you mean? Sorry, guys, I need some twitchy. water. Legal system here is Pile that but effective. Sound you hear? We beat the this. Out of you. Hurt our citizens, kill our animals. We beat the crap out of you. And if you kill someone. You beat the crap out of me? Exactly. And then we kill you. <laughs> Anything else I should know? There's still plenty of trouble you can cause folks without us making with the beatings. Of course, people probably won't talk to you <laughs> after. So how do I avoid the silent treatment? Don't cause trouble in the first place. What if trouble just happens? Then that sort of happens to be your problem. Oh there my gosh, dude. To soothe trouble over. Hmm. Apparently the mages know a spell. A joke spell. A jest spell. Seriously? Yeah. Supposed to make a person feel like they've just been told the best joke in the world. <laughs> and 
And how does that help? Hey. And they forget whatever was troubling. Knock knock. Where can I get this spell? Who's there? Age, maybe. Plenty in the monastery. Banana. Bunch of backstabbing betrayers, the lot of them. Allying with the Inquisition. Could be one knocking around town somewhere. Now who are you? Who are you? I'm Edgar, head of the town guard. Or at least I was. Until the Inquisition took over and pushed Esteban out. I wasn't his biggest supporter, I admit. But at least he was local. You must be a trained fighter, or why don't you train the recruits? You must be a trained fighter. I swear by the sword and the crossbow. Sword for when they're close, and crossbow if they try and run. Huh, he sounds like train, me. Train you? Sure, it'll give me something to do. But I can't be letting you have my skills for Why not? Free. Why don't you train the recruits? Let's say that me and the Inquisition don't see eye to eye on the law. I see it as flexible. Why arrest every piddly little criminal? But the Inquisition don't turn a blind eye to anything. So they got one of my former guards, Eric, to oversee the recruits. He's a master and treats them decently. I know, I kicked his butt. Although he seems a little preoccupied lately. Teach me some combat skills. Uh, strength and crossbow, okay. And sword. Later, man. Dude. Dude. Stupid autosave. Crap. Man. You looking for Leonardo? I'm Garth. I work for him. Congratulations, dude. Oh, gotta get the hit list. Um. Pull this out. Um. Lily's fine. I don't really know anything about her. Um, Edgar is fine, and Garth is fine. I gotta make sure I'm not double writing names, though, man. Dude. 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 An Oscar wannabe. Huh? Hey, Walter. Yeah. How are you? How's business? Busy, but since the Inquisitor's laws were passed, I've been up to my neck in work. Alvaro hardly leaves me any time to sit down with a beer. Huh? Seriously, I can't remember the last time I slept. Can you teach me anything? Love to, but I don't have any time, thanks to Alvaro. Who is Alvaro? Tell me something about Alvaro. I need to work. Um... Can't work all day. Take a break. And who'll do my job? You? I can give it a try. <laughs> Alvaro would love that. Me getting any old person to do my job. Or he'd be glad for his smith to get some rest. Maybe. What makes Alvaro glad is chests bulging with gold. Alvaro's really working you to the bone. Sign of the times. Everyone in this town wants a weapon. Or wants a weapon sharpening. Still, it will be over at some point. I'm looking to huh. buy a new weapon. Do you sell weapons? Love to, but I can't. Alvaro handles all the selling. Do you sell sword blanks? You sell sword blanks. Normally, but since the business with the ruins, I can't get any more raw materials. Maybe I can help. Right, man? Maybe. Right. I like you Walter. Get me iron ore, I can make you sword blanks. Well, I have uh, just what you need, man. Can I help you in some other way? Can I help you in some other way? Maybe. I am having supply problems. I'm always short of something. Mostly I need old metal that I can melt down to make blanks. Some old scrap metal would make my work a lot easier. Where can I get some scrap metal? Where can I get some scrap metal? Man. The farmers left a lot of old mm. scrap metal lying around in their yards. Cool, dude. Man. Old tools, mm. nails, that sort of thing. But then gnomes rummage around out there. They steal everything that isn't nailed down. Wow. I bet they've also stolen all that old scrap metal from the farmers. Could be. I'll get right. some old metal for you. But you can't get out of the town. I'll manage. I'll manage. That would be great. I'll pay you for it, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll take whatever you can bring. Man. 
The gnomes had this tool bag. Hey, that's just what I'm looking for. That was known for a while ago, man. Fifteen of those? Fifteen? Do you know how many gnomes I'd have to knock down to get that? Knocking over gnomes isn't huh. my problem. I just need the metal. I'll see what I can do. But it may take a while. As long as I get the metal, time isn't the huh. problem. Cool. I have some iron ore for you. Well, what do you want made from it? How much iron ore do you need for a blank? A blank for a one-handed sword takes eight lumps of, eight iron, lumps ore. of iron ore. But bastard swords ten. need ten, and two-handed swords need twelve lumps of iron ore. Cool. Later, man. He's really cool, dude. I don't know if I like him better than the other one or not, man. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... I think... Oh, without putting that thing out. I think Fuller or Costa... I think it was Fuller. Was the last of... Was the first one in here. I gotta... I'm trying to keep it separate. And then... I think... Vitus was on the farm. I may have been wrong. Hard to try to kill me if I get up there, man. Dude. Dude. Marcello! Look here. A new face from the monastery. How are things here? Difficult times. But hardship is the true measure of a man. Do you have work for me? Do you have work? We need all the help we can get. Any help in particular? The outlaws here are staying undercover. But they're still pursuing their dirty business. So I've heard. I'm certain Weasel is still one of the Don's men, but he spends all day sitting on a bench. So? Weasel is no saint. He used to run a protection racket here before the Don left. He's not doing that if he's sitting on a bench. A spider sits in its web, but it's still got murder on its mind. He's planning something, but I need evidence to stop him. You're new here. If you could talk to him, gain his trust. See if you can get evidence of his misdeeds. Cool, man. I'll see what I can do. Good. Good. I don't think we have anything to talk about, do we? Hey, how are you? Hush. Don't make such a noise, or we'll both get arrested. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Hush. Not so loud. The white robe back there is starting to notice. Hernandez realizes I'm watching the Don's old house. We're screwed. Sounds like you're no fan of the Inquisition. Yeah, and that bastard Hernandez he's gone on the hit list. over there by the entrance and made himself comfortable. Looks like he's happy to spend the rest of his life guarding it, damn it. And I sit out here like an idiot. Rain or shine. You're working for the Don. You've just realized. Yeah, I have orders from the Don. And when he gives orders, you Bull crap. Thing is, I could use some help. What do you need? What is it you need to do? There's an old family heirloom of the Don's in the house. A golden amulet. If the white robes get their hands on it, they'll take it to their stupid monastery. And the Don will kill Good. me. And I mean kill me, wake me up, and kill me again. Huh? You want to steal from the white robes? Steal? They came storming into Harbor Town, taking anything the they Don wanted. don't live here anymore, dude. The house and everything in it belonged to Don Esteban. Mm, no, it's not. It works like that. What already belongs to him. Tell me about the. Don That's why it's called Don's old, old House. Big building over there, but the white robes are in there, and they never leave. If you want to break in, you'll have to do it at night. Some of them will be asleep then. Where is this amulet? The Don mentioned a secret room accessed by a hidden switch behind a picture. But how is anyone supposed to find the room in that huge house while the white robes are buzzing around? Right. right. I'll get you the amulet. Yep. Okay, but be smart. Esteban will kill us both if Hernandez gets his hands on it. How are we going to get by the white robes? I'll think of something. 
Hold on. Mm, I don't think he'll oh, kill me. He already wants to kill me, man. Dude, man. Find something useful to oh, do. I just found out about something else, man. You're from the monastery, right? Well, go on in and find a place to sleep. Cool, dude. Have you had problems with the Don's men? Of course. They're just waiting for the chance to snatch the town back from the order. Take a look at that guy skulking across the street. Goes by the name of Tony. Isn't the sharpest tool. No, he's not. He's been hanging around for days. Thinks I haven't noticed. He's scoping the place out, waiting for a chance to break in. Someone needs to curb his curiosity. But I can't leave my post. Good idea. I've heard that Don left a few possessions in this house when he fled town. Oh yes, such as? Apparently he hid a golden amulet here. We searched this place from top to bottom and found nothing. A gold amulet is the kind of thing you'd notice. Where did you hear that, eh? That shifty bastard tone. Uh, yep. Don't listen to that lunatic. I find the Don's amulet. Don's amulet. You think your eyes are better than ours, huh? Well, go on then. Step inside. I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker prisoner. That's right. And you're staying okay. here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. About this treasure seeker. About this treasure seeker. What is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker. He's a treasure stealer. And he's going to stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. Wow. Dude. Wow, man. man. I know where all three are at. I have one, and I think I got the other one from the other brother, so I have two of them. And uh, he just has the one left, I think, by now. Man. Dude. Man. Man. Who is Carrasco? One of the Order's warriors. He looks after the warehouse on the Harbor Key. I see. Isn't there a way you can forget all this and let him go? Are you trying no. to bribe me? Until Carrasco tells me differently, no one is going in there. And Ulf isn't setting foot outside until I know what's happened to these three bowls he got his hands on. Okay, dude. I'll sort out Tony, too. I'll sort Tony out. That would be appreciated. He isn't a pretty sight to look at all day. Although I would be interested to know what he's after. Alright guys, next episode we'll walk in the house and um, try to find this gold name lit. So Dracos, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. This is Ultimate Recon Gaming, over and out.